Hey guys, Rhetoric here with some close quarters gameplay, the new expansion that came out for Battlefield 3. And what I think of it is basically this. Straight up chaos. There's no other way to explain it other than straight up chaos, and that's pretty much what they managed to accomplish with this. There are a lot of stuff that they implemented with these maps in particular, especially with the minimap, I'll get into that in a little bit more detail in a minute, that I just don't really, you know, like. First of all, this game feels and play, you know, on the close quarters maps, it plays and feels like Call of Duty. Now, if you're a fan of the Call of Duty franchise, then this is for you. If you're not, well, yeah, you might as well stick to the vanilla and Karkin maps because pretty sure that's what I'm going to be planning on doing because as it is right now, there's a lot of stuff that I just don't like. First and foremost, weapon selection. If you are not using a fast-firing PDW or fast-firing weapon that has a laser pointer attached to it that's really good at hip fire, or if you're not using a shotgun, you're doing it wrong. Straight up, that's just how it is. If you're not using that, those sort of things, doing it wrong. Long range weapons or weapons that are more accurate, forget about them. Because they're not going to do anything for you here. Secondly, the spawns. Dice, what were you thinking when you had the spawn system on here? There have been multiple instances where I've tried to hold an area for even just a few seconds. And... What would happen is, enemies would literally spawn right on top of me, sometimes even behind me. Now, you know, it's kind of hard to tell maybe they were just running behind me and they just happened to see me, I, I don't know. But I've had, I've been literally spawned on quite a few times by enemies and that's a huge frustration. Basically, it works like this. You know how random the spawns are on TDM canals? or basically any TDM game, you know, game mode on, on this game. That's basically how it is with a few objectives thrown in. The spawns literally are that random. So if you're trying for any type of tactical gameplay, holding down a hallway, covering your teammates, you know, suppressive fire down a small way, forget about it. It's not happening because you can get back raged so easily with these things that, like I said, any form of tactical gameplay just goes straight out the window. And to me, I think that's not what Battlefield 3 is all about. To me, I think that it's them, you know, it's a marketing ploy to lure Call of Duty players over to Battlefield 3. And from a business perspective, I can understand that perfectly. I mean, don't get me, you know, let's face it. DICE, like any other game company, is at the end of the day a company and they're out to make money. So I can understand why they're trying to expand their player base a little bit, trying to lure the Call of Duty players into this type of gameplay with the close quarters things. And like I said, if you're a fan of this, you know, then this probably is the thing for you because you're basically going to have the same chaotic, fast paced gameplay with very little tactical, you know, tactics to use. <laughs> it's just, it's literally just run and gun and pray, so, you know, that you don't run into like the whole mob of enemies down the next hallway. Moving on though, it, like I said, you know, it's great for some people. Personally, I don't think it's the game type for me. I, you know, that's not to say that the entire game is bad, but the expansion, I think to me, personally was a little bit of a disappointment. As for the maps themselves, I love the maps. Don't get me wrong. The maps are gorgeously designed. I love all the destructibility in the maps. The way they implemented the gameplay though just kind of just, you know, sucks all that away. For example, I've seen okay. Let, let me let me let me back up and rephrase this. If you're playing on anything more than a 24 man server, you know, with close quarters, you're doing it wrong. Because anything beyond 24 players on a server is, you know, it's chaos times 12. And, you know, what I've seen people do, especially with Conquest Domination, is since the capture points are so small, I've seen people literally play C4 on the objectives 
and they just sit there in a corner, wait for it to start ticking, and then they'll just detonate it and get free, easy, cheap kills. I mean, you know, so I think they could have, you know, made the capture points a little bit bigger. Another thing I have, and this is huge, and I wish they would change this, the way the minimap works. Basically how it works is, since there's multiple stories, multiple floors on a lot of these maps now, if a person is on a story that's higher than you or lower than you, and they're firing their weapon, regardless if it's suppressed or not, they're not going to show up on that minimap. Period. They could have changed it a little bit so that, you know, if they're on a level lower than you or higher than you, they would, you know, still show up but have like a more subdued color on the minimap. That way, you know, at least you have an idea, okay, this guy's here, but he's not an immediate threat because he's on the low level below me or above me. No problem. Instead, they made it so that, you know, you're just not going to see anyone at all, period, unless you're on the same floor as them. That, I think, needs to be changed. That's, that's a huge thing right there, and that's... That's where a lot of my frustration comes from, because if you're trying to go around, trying to find enemies, you know, see where they are, you're basically relying on only one thing, your sight. Because, you know, like I said, you, you can hear people shooting, but you have really no idea where it's coming from. It could be coming from anywhere. And even then, it could be coming from your teammates. You never know. So, like I said, it's, it, you know... The expansion is great if you're into the Call of Duty type playstyle, but like I said, if you want if you want a Call of Duty, you should just play Call of Duty. You know, so overall, I would you know, if I was rating the close quarters expansion like you know from a scale system of one to ten, I'd probably give it a six. You know, because there's a lot of things that really need to be improved with this to make it more viable, because. As it is right now, it's a slap in the face at anything that ba of battle that Battlefield represents. But that's all I have for right now, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Rhetoric, signing out.